Hi, my name is Xiao Wanzhen and I'm a visual artist. This video I will walk through my daily life with from photography and I will share some tips and apps I use in my phone. This video is for everyone, no matter if you have art or photography background or not. The main idea is discovering the beauty of life together. Since the COVID-19, many people complain that the home's office is cramped, boring and lonely after a while. We lost our home space and creativity. Although art not like science cannot eliminate the virus, it's a powerful medium that inspires people all over the world. Art and life are inseparable. Taking a few moments to discover the beauty of the surrounding with our eyes, we can bring a calmness and contentment back to our days. Our mobile phone can be a very convenient tool to record beauty that we ignored. I always believe that a good photograph is not relying on the equipment, but eyes. To record the beauty around us, a mobile phone is enough, and it's very easy to use for everyone. My phone is iPhone 11. It's not the newest version, but the camera and the image quality is already very good. Now it's time to discovering beauty at my home. First thing first is clean your lamp with a tissue paper because we usually carry the phone in our pocket or around the body. The lens will be smeared with oil, fingerprints or dust. It will cause a hazy effect which will reduce the quality of the image. But if you like the effect like that, you can leave it there. The next thing is activating a 3x3 three three grid. If you are using iPhone, you can go to setting, then camera, and turn on the grid. This will help us to effectively compose image. I will talk about this later. If you feel overwhelmed by something you are about to shot and not sure how to compose, you can follow NYIP's three guidelines for grid photos. First, know your subject. Before you take the shot, ask yourself what the main character is in your photo. And don't be greedy. Sometimes you put a lot of beautiful stuff together, but make a chaotic scene. Viewers get confused what they are looking at. Second, draw viewers' attention to your subject. A good photograph focuses attention on the subject. You need to make sure the photo has a clear and unambiguous subject. The simplest way is making the subject feel the frame. The last thing is keeping simple. A good image embraces additional elements that contribute to the story and enhance the scene, but exclude noise. You can move the distracting object away, move your camera or use blur to eliminate. There are many important elements in photography like lighting, color, composition and so on. But I don't want to make this video too professional, so I will just go through three elements that will elevate your phone photography in seconds. The first one is composition. The most important element in photography is composition. It's the skeleton of a photo. As a photo maker, you need to think about the balance, leading lines and symmetry. We can use lines that point towards our subject. For example, in this photo, I use these red lines draw viewers' attention to the center. And in this one, I use the diagonal lines 
human beings love symmetry, so you can also bring symmetry in your image. The rule of thirds is another artistic concept which can be easily applied to photographs. Human eyes easily lock onto a single point, which is two thirds up from the bottom of the photo. To do this, you can try to put the subject intersecting either the top or bottom third of the photo. This is the reason why I ask you to turn on grid in the beginning. However, it's not entirely right. You can play with your own composition. And do more practice, these guidelines will become your second nature. And soon you will become an expert and you can compose image more creatively. Photography means writing with light. Photo stands for light and graphy stands for writing. So lighting is the core of a good photograph. Besides lamp, you can play sunlight, reflection and shadow by using reflectors at home like mirror and uh, glass with water. We can abstract elements at home, escape from the inertia that what your photo is what you see. For example, shooting the piano like a building, or like me playing pasta with lights. Life becomes boring because our life is without unknown. Even closing eyes, we won't get lost in our home. Go to the kitchen, we know exactly where the bowls and mugs are. After making us fall, we go back to the desk and turn on computer. Just start the same old day. Although it seems that every day is the same, it has little difference. Just like the bird that came to your yard today will be different one who came yesterday. Photography is just a medium. What you really want to express via photo is your life and visual aesthetic. The first thing before taking shot is observation. As the epidemic restricts our travel, we may not be able to take photos of the scenery, architecture, and humanity that strike our heart. But at the same time, it gives us the opportunity to slow down and observe every beam of light and dust around us. I believe many of you started planting flowers and do some flower arrangement at home since the pandemic. It becomes my habit to observe and record them every day. One thing many attempts try different angles. Some people like shooting standing up with the camera pointed straight ahead at eye level. That's a little bit boring. Using phone to explore interesting angles that we can't you really reach. You can look up or down or put a phone on the ground. Look at the plant from the perspective of an ant. All you need is imagination. Don't rely too much on the zoom of your phone camera, but use your foot because the zoom in will reduce the image quality it will have a lot of green. Of course, if you like the greeny texture, you can take advantage of this feature. Just take two more steps. You will find its different beauty with your naked eye. After all, the ability of our eyes to adjust the focus is much more advanced than the lens. Daytime is long and plain. Now it's 7 p.m. I decided to call it a day. It's my favorite time because there will be a limited time filter. Just like a blind box, you cannot 
predict what color it will be in the evening. Maybe it's a pink fire cloud, or maybe it's blue or gray. It's short-lived, starting from seven o'clock. It will stay for more than ten minutes. Then it will replaced by black, and that was the calmest moment. Now it's time to cook. After lockdown, my kitchen become a place to be creative. You can consider black and white photography. You can take the photo with camera set to black and white, or use a image editing program. Also, you can play with colors. Different colors have different moods, and food can give you many inspiration. Color is the soul of your photo. Blue tones really show coldness and isolation. However, blues can also give us a feeling of calmness and serenity. Purple is very rare in the nature lighting. Maybe you will see that during twilight. It also gives us a calmness and tranquility feeling. Warm colors like red is very powerful. It shows passion or anger. Orange stresses creativity and confidence. When we edit our images, we can adjust white balance, warmth, or tint to get the right tones you want. Also, you can use selective saturation to boost the color of your subject and slightly desaturate the background to make your subject punch out. If you want to. Adjust your image after shooting. Here are some apps I'd like to use in my iPhone. There are Snapseed, Lightroom, and Instagram. I like Snapseed and Lightroom that can adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation of selective part. But Instagram provide. A lot of filters that you can use immediately. If you don't know how to edit the color or light, using filters is the fastest and easiest way. This is another app I recently like to use, and it's amazing, called Dashcam. There are many realistic. Film cameras you can play with. I really like the vintage film filters. The best thing is that you do not need to post edit. Now, if you have urge to explore your house, don't hesitate. Start from today. Bring your phone, explore your home, and share the joy and connect with the world. Stay safe and health. Thank you for watching.